Dear candidate, good morning, dear candidate to everybody. Welcome to St. Austin Revision Center. We are situated at Carrefour Juvence. So today we are going to focus on section B 1945 to present, that is independence and post-independent Africa. And the topics here are nationalism, Africa, and the Second World War. Now, take note that this is question four of paper. Three, question four of paper three. So the, the, the topic we are going to focus today will be Africa and the Second World War. Good. Now, the Second World War began in Europe with German invention of Poland on the 1st September 1939 and lasted till 1945. It is believed that the Second World War was it last war as he planned it started it and ultimately lost it this war was fought between two camps the allied camp made up of britain france russia and america and the aziz camp made up of germany japan and italy the war which started in europe was later extended to africa and was fought in north africa west africa and east africa why the Second World War was extended to Africa or why Africa became involved in the war. Take note, dear candidate, why the Africans became involved in the war is different from the reason why the Africa fought the war. It's different. Now, we are, we are under why the Second World War was extended to the Africans or, where, or why were Africans involved in the war. First, because of the strategic location or importance of North Africa in particular and Africa in general, necessitated the extension of the Second World War to Africa. Africa and North Africa in particular, that acted as a world traitor of strategic importance to both the Allied and the Aziz power. Both, the, both powers or both camps valued what the naval facility, such as the Suez Canal, the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean, good for military operation. As such, the war was extended to Africa in order to make use of this facility. Furthermore, the war was extended to Africa because of German request for the return of her former African colonies. During the First World War, Germany was defeated and her African colonies of Cameroon, Togoland, Tanganyika, and German Southwest Africa were seized and handed to the victorious Allied powers as mandated territory under the supervision of the League of Nations. Consequently, when the Second World War escalated, it was extended to Africa because Adolf Woman wanted wanted. Uh, the return of the colonies, while Britain and France, on the other hand, wanted to prevent Germany from taking back these colonies. Another reason for the extension of this Second World War to Africa was a desire of the Allied powers to prevent Italy from making use of the material and human resources in Africa against them. In September 1940, Italian forces from Libya invaded the British colony of Egypt in order to create an extensive empire that was to enable her to explore the area so as to finance the war. Hence, to avoid this, the Allied powers, that is Britain and France, were forced to extend the war to Africa so as to tower the ambition of Mussolini. Meanwhile, the invention and occupation of the kingdoms of the independent kingdom of Ethiopia in 1935 to 1936 also contributed to the extension of the Second World War to Africa. In 1936, Mussolini invaded and occupied the independent kingdom of Ethiopia, and Emperor Halas went to exile to England. Consequently, when the Second World War escalated, Hala appealed to the Allied power for assistance against Italy in order to regain his throne. As such, the Allied powers extended the war to Africa in order to liberate Ethiopia from Italian occupation. Also, the early defeat and occupation of France by the German forces in June 1940 also made the extension of the war to Africa to be inevitable. 
German forces invaded and occupied northern France by June 1940, and the German army set up a popular regime in southern France at Vichy, headed by Marshal Pétain. After the defeat, General Charles de Gaulle escaped to Britain and declared that France have lost a battle and not the war. He thus formed a free French government in exile to revise the humiliation. As such, the Allied power extended the war to Africa in order to overthrow the poor Viking regime in Africa and mobilize the Africans to support the Gaulle free French movement on exile. Moreover, the war was extended to Africa because of the influence of the colonial master. The Allied power, the Allied power, Britain and France, and the Aziz power, Italy, had colonies in Africa. These powers extended the war to Africa in by to mobilize human and material support from the Africans in order to win the war. Lastly, the war was also extended to Africa because the Allied powers wanted to weaken the Axis war effort in Southern Europe by making them to fight the war in two fronts. These were, reason, these were reasons why the Allied power fought the war. The, the Allied power extended the war to Africa against the Aziz power. Now, what were the role played by the Africans in the war or the contribution of Africans to the war effort? <laughs> what role did Africans play? Now, the Africans played the following role during the Second World War of 1939 to 1945. Remember, the first part here was seen reason why the war was extended to Africa. Once the war was extended to Africa, how did the Africans contribute in the war? First, the Africans fought as what soldiers. Thousands of Africans were involved in the war on the side of the Allied powers. For example, in British West Africa, about 66,000 fighters men, uh, fighting men organized in seven brigades joined the British West African Frontier Force, and many of these troops were used outside Africa, especially in the Burma campaign. Also, in the French West Africa, in the French West and Equatorial Africa, over 100,000 forces were conscribed into the Free French Liberation Army of General Charles Legon. Good. So next, the Africans also acted as porters or carriers. Due to the poor transport network in Africa, thousands of Africans were recruited as porters for the warring party in Ethiopia, North Africa, Equatorial Africa, the Middle East, and the Far East. Is. African acted as spies. They provided the necessary information which guided the army of the Allied. The Arab of North Africa, for example, were very instrumental in this direction. They also spread anti aziz propaganda, which helped to mobilize many against Italy, Germany, and their Allied. Even so, African leaders provided refuge to the leaders of the Free French Movement on exile, especially in Algeria. African acted as supplier of raw materials as well as food to sustain Allied war effort. Many Africans were mobilized by the Allied to support the war effort, particularly when Japan captured British source of, sources of supply in far East Asia, making Africans the main supplier of the raw materials such as palm oil, cocoa, coffee, rubber, and maize needed in European industries. Example, rubber was needed for the production of bullets, while palm oil was used for the lubrication of European machine. Africans also made financial contribution towards allied war effort. They raised funds by forming committee that organized voluntary contribution of money or paid taxes to help cover the cost of the war. For example, in the Free French West Africa, sub uh, Free French Africa subsistence sum of money were voted as gift by the West African Legislative Council, which this, with the support of the African. Such fund became known as the Free French War Fund. Furthermore, the African also provided spiritual support towards the Allied war effort through the organization of public prayers. For example, public prayers were organized in Dakar. Then, the African provided accommodation for the holding of wartime conferences aimed at facilitating the defeat of the Aziz, such as the Casablanca 
confluence. Provision of strategic military bases was another way by which the African provided what uh, help to the Allied. The Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea and the African seaport serve as military bases. Lastly, the African provide what labor services. They acted as what cookers, interpreters, drivers, while others assisted in the construction of naval bases, camp, roads, and railways. So these were roles played by the Africans during the Second World War. I repeat now, how did the Africans participate in the war? They participated in the war as what soldiers. They participated in the war as what porters. They, particip they participated in the war as spies. They, they, uh, they, they, they supply what raw materials, they made financial contributions, they provided spiritual support, they, uh, they organized what they provided, what accommodation for the war, holding of what wartime conferences, they provided strategic military bases and they provided labor services. Now we are moving now to the third subtopic. The third subtopic here says, why Africans participated in the war or why the Africans became involved in the war. Now, why did Africans participate in the war? First, Africans participated in the war because they wanted to use it as an opportunity to secure employment. Many Africans were, were unemployed before the war. But when the war escalated, many Africans were employed as soldiers, porters, interpreters, and informers. Africans were motivated by wartime promises. When the war started, the Allied powers, especially Britain and France, made wartime promises of self-government to the colonized people and to carry out socio-economic reforms to better the condition of the African. This encouraged the Africans to participate in the war. The Africans wanted to contribute to the liberation of Ethiopia from Italian occupation and restore the kingdom, the independence of the kingdom. Hence, they participated in the war. The Atlantic Charter Declaration of 1941 also motivated the Africans to participate in the war. Remember, the Atlantic Charter was signed between the U.S. President Frank Franklin Delano and the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. The Charter emphasized on the equality of all races and the right of all people to self-determination. African dogs participated in the war with the hope that after the war, they will achieve independence. African attachment to their colonial master attracted sympathy during the war. The Africans, especially French Africans, participated in the war because of the desire to liberate France that had been occupied by German forces, believing that victory attained by joint effort would bring them freedom and independence. Some Africans were forced to join the war by their colonial master or by their chief who wanted compensation. Besides, some Africans before the war were already soldiers in the colonial army. And when the war escalated, they had no choice than to participate in the war. Lastly, some Africans also participated in the war because they wanted to, they wanted to, to adventure and see Europe, which they have been hearing of. Now, take note, these are why the Africans participated in the war. Because question now can come, why and how did Africans participate in the war? Why? Reason why the Africans were involved in the war. How? How they participated? They participated as what? Soldiers. Then now, we move now to the next subtopic, the consequences of the Second World War on Africa and the Africans. And the consequences or the impact or the repercussion or the effect are subdivided into two positive consequences and negative consequences. Positive consequences and negative consequences. First, we start with positive consequences. The Second World War led to the rise and growth of nationalism. The most important outcome of the Second World War was that it led to the growth and rise of what nationalism. In the first place, the European colonial power were compelled to make promises of independence to their respective African colonies. As such, as colonies, as consequences of the war. Now, the Africans who participated in the, in the war as soldiers and porters came to discover that the weaknesses of the white man, which destroyed the, the weaknesses of the white man, which destroyed in them the might and wise of white superiority and invisibility. 
all above the war, all above from the war, the, the African learned new and liberal ideas such as human justice, freedom, liberty, and equality. All this helped to shape the nationalist sentiment of the African and therefore lay the foundation of nationalism in Africa after 1945. Secondly, they gave great impetus to Western education. This was because as a result of the wartime economic boom, many Africans or many parents were able to send their children to school. This produced an educated class that later championed the struggle for decolonization. The war also led to the relax relaxation of colonial rule in some parts of Africa. The war compared European powers, colonial powers, to take stock of, of their colonial activity in Africa and define a new way for their respective African colonies. For example, France, under the Free French Movement of the Gaulle, organized what the Brazzaville Conference in 1944, in which French colonial activities and policy in West and Equatorial Africa were reviewed and France promised to abolish obvious colonial policies such as indigenous, corvée, and prestation. The war also led to the introduction of political and constitutional reform by the colonial master in their African colonies, which helped to prepare the colonies for self-government and independence. For example, in 1946, Britain introduced the new constitutions such as the Bonn Constitution, the Gold Coast, and the Richard Constitution in Nigeria, which laid the basis for the granting of independence to British colonies beginning with the Gold Coast in 1957. Also, the war created employment opportunity for many Africans who were either employed as soldiers, cook, porter, informant, driver. Some were employed in the construction of naval bases. Some were, import, uh, some were employed in the construction of boats, railways, harbor, and military camps. This equally helped to improve the standard of living of the Africans from the income they earned. The war equally promoted infrastructural development in Africa. As a result of the war, roads, railways, seaports, and airports were constructed in areas like Dakar, that in Senegal, Accra, Gokos, Cairo, Egypt, to facilitate the transportation of troops, raw materials, food, and other war supplier. When the war ended in 1945, with the virtue of the Allied, Africa benefited from this economic infrastructure that had been put in place during the war. The war lay, lay the foundation of, for the rise and growth of trade union. As a result of inflation, cost of living increased steadily. Price of manufactured goods were increasing without a corresponding increase in wages. This influenced the labor class to form trade union organization in order to demand for high wages, better working condition, industrial development, and redistribution of land. The war led to economic boom in Africa. During the war, Europe lost tropical Asia to Japan between 1941 to 1942. Consequently, Africa became the main source of European culture, agricultural products or raw materials such as rubber, cotton, and ground. The war equally led to the formation of political party in Africa. In Nigeria, for example, the NCNC, was formed in 1944, while in the Gold Coast, the United Gold Coast Convention and the Convention People's Party were formed. Now, after this, now we have the negative consequences of the Second World War on the African. First, the war exposed the Africans to European exploitation. The Africans were forced to, to meet war target of tropical raw materials that were then in high demand in Europe. This led to the intensification of forced labor and taxation, particularly in the French colonies of West and Equatorial Africa during the war. The war also led to massive destruction of lives and property in Africa, especially in places like North Africa, where real and heavy fighting took place between the Allied and the Aziz Para. For example, over 25,000 out of the 170,000 Africans who were recruited to save in the British West African Frontier Force died during the war. During the war. Infrastructure such as roads, bridges, houses, airports, and railways were equally destroyed. As a result of the war, many Africans were displaced from their home. 
many African soldiers were separated from their family. Consequently, when the war came to an end, refugee problems became very common in the continent. The war equally led to the rise and growth of towns and cities in Africa. After the war, many areas in Africa, especially around the coast, were fast expanded into urban city centers. This situation soon provoked overcrowding in towns and cities, thereby producing socioeconomic problems such as shortage of basic consumer goods, high crime wave, house, housing problem, house rent, prostitution, habit spread of epidemic and other issues. The war caused increased economic and social hardship to the people of Africa. After the war, there was a drastic shortage in the supply of basic consumer goods. This resulted from the fact that during the war, European resources, factories, and industry were diverted to the production of more weapons and other war equipment at the expenses of consumer goods. The shortages of basic consumer goods provoked hunger and inflation in Africa after 1945. Good. We are done with the positive and negative consequences. Now we now move now to the revision question. The revision question here, you have paper one questions. You have paper one question which says, during the Second World War in Africa, North Africa distinguished itself in the following way, except A, it was a focal point of fighting in Africa, yes. It harbored the battle that changed the fortune of the war, yes. It was used as a sanctuary by the free French agent, yes. It hosted Major as this world time conference. The answer here is D. North Africa never hosted as this world time conference. No, he instead hosted major allied war time conference. And the major allied war time conference was organized where the, the, the conference was organized where at Casablanca in Morocco, how to see how the strategy, how to defeat the Aziz. So the Aziz never hosted anything. North Africa. So the correct answer here is D. Question two says, North Africa became a theater of war during the Second World War, mainly because of the interest of the colonial master. No, the correct answer here is B. Remember the first point of reason why the war was extended to Africa, because North Africa, because it was a strategic location. So the correct answer of question two is B. Question three says, <laughs> The most important political impact of World War II on Africa was, remember, I told you that the most important outcome of the Second World War on the African was the rise of what? Nationalism. Was the right of nationalism. So the correct answer here is C. Question four. Africans participated in the Second World War in all the following, except now, how did African participate? One. A, the supply of labor for different wartime projects, yes. Provision of basic raw material and food stuff, yes. Donation of financial support, yes. Hosting of ASIS conference, no. They never hosted any ASIS conference, no. They, host, they hosted the, the Allied conference. An example of the Allied conference they hosted was the Casablanca conference in Morocco. Question five says, the Second World War was extended to Africa because of the following reason, except now it was extended to Africa to liberate a troop. Yes, it was extended to Africa because German request for the return of a cis colony. It was a strategic importance to gain employment. D is inset a positive consequence. D is inset a positive consequence. A, B, and C were reasons why the war was extended to Africa was instead the reason why the war was extended to Africa, whereas D is a consequence. So the exception here is D. D. The second war was extended to Africa because A, they wanted to liberate Ethiopia. That is one of the reasons why it was extended. B, German request for the return of our territory. C, strategic importance of North Africa. So A, B, and C were reasons why the war was extended to Africa, except D, that is A, Consequency. You know, consequence and reason are two different things. There are three reasons, and there's one consequence, and you need to bring out the odd. When you see the odd word, when you see four, four words, and three are the same words, and the, the foot is not the same. That means the foot is the odd word. So D is the correct answer. Question six is Africa, an African country that hosted an important wartime conference in 1943, where Church Hill and Resolve. 
met to plan the Allied conquest of Italy was Casablanca, Morocco, Casablanca. So the correct answer of question six is B. Question seven, during the Second World War in Africa, North Africa distinguished itself in the following ways, except the correct answer here is D, hosted as this wartime conference. That is the exception. It was a focal point of fighting. It harbored most of the battle. It was a strategic location. And D, it never hosted as this wartime conference. No, it instead hosted Allied wartime conference. Remember, the war was fought between two camps, the Allied camp and the Aziz camp. The Allied were the good people and the Aziz were the bad people. So the, the North Africa instead hosted for the Allied camp, who were, who were the good people. Now, question eight. He went on exile to England in 1936, following the capture of his territory. He went to Israel that, that I'm talking about, we're already talking about C, Emperor Hala Selesi. Right, he went on as an in England in 1936 following the capture of his territory, but was restricted when his territory was recaptured from Italy by the Allied forces in May 1941 during the Second World War. This term refers to C. Emperor Hara Selesi. Take note in what year was he restricted? He was restricted in 1941. Good, now we move now to see the revision portion of paper. Three. We are done with the MCQ. We are done with the MCQ. Now we are now moving now to examine now the revision questions under this particular topic, paper three. Examine the contributions of Africans to European war effort during the War of 1939 to 1940. Five. Now they say examine the contributions of African. Now, this question is a straightforward question as the candidate is thus going to give the role played by the Africans during the first, during the second world war in Africa. What was their contribution? They acted as what soldiers, they acted as what Borders. They acted as what spies. They provided raw materials. They provided what um, spiritual support. They provided financial uh, financial support to the allied. They acted. They provided what naval bases, villages to, for the opening of naval bases. They provided labels to the uh, both to the allied. So you are just going to give the role played by the Africans during the during the war in Kame, in Africa, pardon. Now, question two says, what role did African play in the Second World War and with what consequence? Now, this question is divided. Some people may take it into two-sided, right? That is, you give the role played by the Africans and you give the consequences as both positive and negative in the same point. But now, it will be very better to rearrange and organize your work, giving this part, this question too, that what role did African play in the Second World War and what consequences? It will be better to divide into three parts. Part one, you will give the role played by the Africans in the Second World War. Remember, they acted as soldiers, porters, spies. Then part two, you give the positive consequence, positive consequence for part two. Then part three, you give the negative consequence. You give the negative consequence. So this question now will be well arranged into three parts. Now, question three says, to what extent was World War II beneficial to the Africans? Question mark. Now, I always say that when you, you see the word to what extent, that question will be automatically to be well two-sided question. You start with the word the examiner wants you to start with. Now, the question says, to what extent was World War II beneficial? So the examiner wants you to start with the beneficial before giving out the negative. So this question is how many sided? Question three is two-sided question. Part one, you are going to give the positive consequence of the Second World War to the Africans and the Africans. And part two, you are going to give the negative consequence of the Second World War on the Africans and the African. Now, question four says, why and with what consequence was the Second World War extended to Africa? Why and with what consequence was the Second World War extended to Africa? Three-part question, right? Three-sided question. Part one, 
part one we focus part one we focus on the reason why the war was extended to africa part two will be centered on the positive consequences part three will be centered on the negative consequences question five says assess the impact of the second world war in africa this question five is just like question three they say assess now dear candidate whenever you have the word assess or evaluate take note that question is always a two-sided question you are giving a good part of something and a bad part of something now assess the impact of the second world war in africa it is a two-sided question centered on the impact of the second world war Part one, focus on the positive consequence, and part two, focus on what? Negative consequence. Question six, how and why did Africans support the European colonial power during the Second World War? They say, how and why did Africans support the European colonial power during the Second World War? Now, this question is a two-sided question. Part one, you will give the whole plate by the Africans during the Second World War. Remember, they acted as porters, soldiers, spies. Why part two, you will give reasons why Africans participated in the war or why Africans were involved in the war. Africans participated in the war because they wanted to gain employment. Africans participated in the war because they wanted to support their colonial masters. Africans participated in the war because of the wartime promises made by the allied powers to them in order to grant them independence after the war. These are all what you are to give. So I repeat for question six, how and why? How? How Africans participated the war? Why? Why? Reasons why Africans participated the war. They participated in the war because they wanted their employment. So this is a two-part question. Part one, you give the role played by the Africans. Part two, you give reasons why Africans participated in the war. Question seven says, account for and examine the impact of the extension of the Second World War to Africa. This question seven is still similar. Is similar with the other part of the question, right? Look at question seven account for and examine the impact part one reason why the war was extended to africa part two the positive impact part three negative impact so this question several is three sided question part one reason why the war was extended to africa part two you have the positive impact and part three the negative impact question eight how, why, and with what repercussion did Africans participate in the Second World War? How, how the Africans fought the war, the war played by the Africans. Part two, why the Africans fought the war? They fought the war because they wanted what? Employment. Repercussion here, we are talking about the consequences of the war. So this question is divided into three parts. Part one of the, the question, you give the role played by the Africans. Part two, you will give reasons why the Africans participated in the war. And part three, you will give the consequence. Now, question nine says, examine the reason for and the effect of Africans' involvement in the Second World War. This question is just the same question that we have seen in the, in the various questions above. Examine the reason for the extension of the war. That is, the question is still divided into three parts. Some can take it two parts. I'm not refusing, but... To arrange your work, you take in three parts. Examine the reason. First part, you give the reason why the war was extended to Africa for the first part. The second part, you give the positive consequence. The third part, you give the negative consequence. These were all possible questions. Paper three questions. Questions four under the Second World War with your interpretation with the paper one. This particular lesson was presented to you by Sir Moses. Those who wish to make use or, or to know more or to have lectures about the classes, you can contact my personal number 679-1919-9217. Here was Sir Moses and presented to you by Sir Austin, Austin Revision Center located at Carrefour, Juvence.